going to be able to run through the house with this load going to Salt Lake. Uh, also, somebody did ask to see some uh, stuff where, about where I pick up, so I got some dock stuff to show you. I uh, uh, got a surprise visit from another subscriber, and more on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker, filmed before a live and fuzzy studio audience. Yep, that's Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. All right, well, uh, I know I did get a comment. I got, finally got caught up in all my comments last night when I was sitting there in Muskogee, Oklahoma. And uh, speaking of Muskogee, uh, Patty, one of my subscribers, who I had met uh, a few months ago, I think it was late summer last year when I was stuck in Muskogee all weekend, uh, she came by and saw the truck and everything, and uh, she was in one of my videos. Uh, she sent me a text saying, oh, you're in my town. So I gave her a call and we chatted for a while. And uh, she's a real great gal. So uh, nice to talk to you again, Patty. Uh, another subscriber uh, gave me a surprise visit. That'll be coming up. Uh, but then I went down uh, today, down to my uh, pickup there in Fort Smith, Arkansas, which was only about an hour and a half away. I was picking up an Elite Comfort. Now, I thought I was picking up the actual mattresses for Select Comfort, but, well, let's go to the dock. Somebody did put in the comments they'd like to see more of where I'm picking up and delivering. Well, here's where I'm picking up. This is Fort Smith, Arkansas. I am backed into a dock right now. There's a container right there into another dock. You can see the one I'm in is a little further back. I'm picking up mattresses, uh, going to select comfort in Salt Lake City. All right, so if we look out, you can see the back there. There's the dock. Just a typical warehouse. Not a lot to be said about it. Sometimes places will let you on the dock they don't hear, uh, or else I'd go in and try to get some video of that. But yeah, not a lot to be said for this one. It's just a warehouse here in Fort Smith, Arkansas. And it looks like they're loading a combination of maybe some of the mattresses and plus those electronic units for the Select Comfort, because some of it's on pallets and so forth. So uh, I think maybe some of the uh, frames things they have to support the beds and all that. So kind of a variety of Select Comfort uh, products, what do you think? Once I have to pull forward and close the doors, I'll, uh, I'll try to give a shot of what's inside so you can kind of get a better idea of what that looks like. All right, so then when I pull forward and, uh, you know, and, you know, wanted to bring my camera back so I could take a shot of what's in there, look at what I see. I just see a bunch of boxes on pallets. Look at this. Tub foam box. What? Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> it's all in small boxes. I think that's all that's in there. I think it filled the trailer. So all I can guess is it's actually maybe the foam stuff they use to make the mattresses and maybe they make them in Salt Lake at Select Comfort there. So that's my best guess, okay? Because I, yeah, I picked up at, it's uh, Elite Comfort Solutions and I'm delivering to Select Comfort. So maybe they make the mattresses there. I do know for a fact they make the purple mattresses there in uh, Salt Lake City. So for all we know, Select Comfort and purple are in cahoots baby or something anyway so i'm kind of interesting but it's it's a coyote load i've been doing a lot of loads for coyotes since we're the new uh we're, we've got a new mc me and elliot with l on wheels and um so i have you know coyotes one of the few that would work with us right away it's now opened up we're past 60 days so i can start using other brokers but uh, as i remember when i've done coyote loads before when i used to work for turquoise they were terrible about the details about the information as a matter of fact that load i brought down to fort gibson oklahoma on the uh, rate confirmation, it said miscellaneous food products protect from freeze, and what was it? Cans. Cans, empty cans for Arizona tea. That's not food product. Like I say, Coyote's not the best on the details. What do you think? It's taking Rusty out here at this new TA Express in uh, Tonkawa, Oklahoma. So he's running around doing his thing. Look what we stumble across. Yep, something you don't see every day. <laughs> Unleaded, super unleaded diesel. This uh, just became a TA Express, so this was obviously their old sign. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. They just leave it lying there on the ground. I know uh, White's uh, truck stop in Rafine, Virginia, when they switched to a Petro, they had the same thing. They had their big sign just lying out there on the grass behind some of the reserve parking for a long time. I thought that was kind of silly. But anyway, after I got here and was filling up, uh, this pickup pulls right in front of my truck. I'm like, what is this guy doing? And then this guy pops out. He's like, "Hey, Clutch! Yeah, we got to meet Sean." All right, I was filling up, filling up here at the uh, what is now a TA Express here in Tonkawa, Tonkawa. Oklahoma. And then this uh, little pickup pulls up in front of me, and this guy pops out, and 
said he watches me on YouTube. Uh, your name is Sean? Yep, Sean. Sean, nice to meet you. Yep. And of course, Rusty being a spaz, like always. Yeah. Up there. Like you said, well, yeah, I recognize that, that extended sleeper on there. Truck. Yeah, that's interesting. So you live nearby. Yep. And what did you say you do for a living? I farm and I work at a weather research facility. Well, I, I, one of my favorite classes in college was when I took meteorology. I've always been fascinated by weather. So that's an interesting line of work. Yep. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you today. Yep, nice to meet you. I always love meeting new people on the road, especially ones who have watched my videos and stuff. Nice to say hi to everybody. So uh, whenever I get a run across somebody, I always like to put them in my video. There's only been a couple people who said, no, 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 no. Don't let me, don't put me in the video. But Sean was uh, obliging. So Sean, nice to meet you. I do want to mention a good buddy of mine, Tony Tourette's, um, the Tourette's trucker. Tony, uh, well, Tourette's isn't his last name. Uh, he has Tourette's. That's why they, he went with that for his channel. And I, I'm all for that. But, uh, you know, he's been, he follow, he's been following me. He got to meet me while I was doing my remodel. I came through Cheyenne, and we got to hang out for a little bit. Real good guy. And uh, he is really a tech head because he's got a million cameras all over his truck with all different kinds of angles. And he got sideswiped down near Miami the other day. I was just watching this video to catch up with some of his stuff. It's crazy. So you need to go to Tony Tourette's, uh, the Tourette's Trucker channel, Tony's channel. And check this out because he's got like all these different angles this car just comes out of nowhere and just whack slams right into him while he's pulling a tanker kind of dangerous there for someone just to slam into you poor guy and of course then the car just takes off what a jerk so go to Tony's uh, channel the Tourette's trucker and check that out all right, so now uh, it's going to be about a ten and a half hour drive up to Cheyenne tomorrow from here. I just I didn't know I, I don't run this route a lot. I haven't before, so I knew I could park here tonight. I could get my shower. I could fuel up, and uh, I didn't know really what else there would be north of here. I'm going to go north through Wichita, up to uh, Salina, Kansas. Go west a little bit, and then go north again up to I-80 in Nebraska, and cut across to uh, Sap Brothers in Cheyenne. I'll get there late tomorrow night. I'll drop my trailer and then I'll run home. And then, on, uh, like I say, Sunday, maybe I can uh, go out to lunch with the family and everything. So that'll be cool. And then, of course, uh, I'll leave Sunday afternoon, drive on over to Salt Lake City. I deliver noon on uh, Monday. And I've been looking at other loads, and boy, it's grim. It's grim. I was trying to look at, there, there was one I almost booked on Coyote on, on their app tonight. It said it weighs 35,950 pounds. That's a pretty specific weight. But then it said in the notes, must scale up to 45,000. I'm like, well, which is it? So I was afraid to book it. There's just not much else. The rates have been terrible. Uh, typically, they're bad. January and February of every year, they start picking back up again in March. This year, they have not only not picked up, they've gone down even more. So I think I'm just going to have to wait until the last minute on uh, Monday because I deliver at noon. So I can start looking all Monday morning and see what's left over. A lot of times trucks will drop off of loads and you can call a broker. Now then you can command a little bit more because now they got to get it covered. And that's maybe the only thing that's going to help me for Monday. So I don't have anything else booked. So that's what we're dealing with right now, baby. All right. And everybody in the comments has been saying they really do like how I'm showing on the map exactly where I am and where I'm going. So, all right. So here's where I was in, Oak Mul in uh, Muskogee this morning drove down here to Fort Smith Arkansas that's where I picked up and then I came back through Tulsa this is all turnpike across there I do have my uh, pre-pass which has the pike pass on it so you know, the little uh, orange or the blue triangle is about where I'm at right now and well now I can't find it <laughs> I zoomed in too far where is it okay there it is in Tonkawa Oklahoma yep that's where that little red flag is or orange flag so that's where I'm at, the new TA Express right there. And it's not too far up there. And then you see there's the uh, border for Kansas. So we'll go up into Kansas, take 135, that's Salina. We go across a little bit west. And then we drop up into Nebraska on I-80. Take that straight across. There's Cheyenne, there's where I'll be Saturday night. And I'll get a stay with the family for a few hours at least into Sunday. And then we drive across I-80 and drop down into Salt Lake. And let me zoom into that one for you. Oh, now I've lost it again. I, I zoom in too far. There, okay, there it is. And we'll drop right down Salt Lake into 80. 
and I'm going to park at the uh, Sap Brothers there. I can reserve a spot. Thank God that's the only way to do it in Salt Lake City. The Sap Brothers is about the only truck stop right in the middle of Salt Lake City. And then that's where I deliver right there. And as you can see, again, the Garmin 1010 does give you the bird's eye view, which I think is really cool. So you can see it's right near the airport. There's a runway right there. A lot of warehouses always right near airports in any major city. And the bird's eye view shows me that's what that warehouse looks like so I can know what to look for as I'm coming in. Well, not a lot to talk about on this one, but just thought I'd throw something together since I knew that I'm going to run through the house. Uh, I'll be there tomorrow night, so then we're going to try to have some lunch or something with everybody on Sunday, and then i got to drive to Salt Lake. So uh, I probably wouldn't be doing another video until at least Monday. So I thought, let's, let's throw something up there, right, Rusty? Yeah, and, I, yeah, and you're just happy because then now this means you get begging strips, right? Yeah, oh, I said the magic words. Oh, thank you. Love you, too. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please like and comment. I get your comments as soon as I can. Sometimes takes a few days because I'm a working truck driver. Don't forget to ring that bell for notifications. You know when the new videos come out. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. Hello, Peter. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, I'm going to need you to come into work tomorrow. And uh, we've lost a few people, so we're having to kind of play catch up. And, oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Gonna need to have to uh, have you come in on Sunday, too. So, yeah. If you could do that, that would be great. Okay? All right. Now, come on down. You know the rules. We always start down here. Come down here. And there it goes. All right. Rusty all over that bacon strip. That's right. He uh, munches them down in record time. I'm amazed dogs can actually taste anything as quick as they eat stuff, but, you know... That's what they do, baby. That's what they do. Oh, yeah. Loving that, aren't you, Rusty? You almost get that one down? I have one more for you. Oh, I see a little I see a little piece down there. You better go grab that one. Oh, yeah. There's a piece right here. Right there. There you go. All right. Here you go. There's one more. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Happy dog. Happy dog. Oh, yes. That wonderful pet bed that Junior gave us has actually lasted quite a while. He's put a couple little holes in it, but it's not terrible yet. So I think I know he paid more for that one than I usually pay for the ones at like Walmart and stuff. So Junior, again, thank you. That's actually lasted quite a while. So you, you got us a good one there. All right, all done, Rusty? All done?